Hey guys, welcome to RPA feed and in today's session we will be discussing about a use case of RE and where we will be building uh, or rather I can say I have already built a weather bot and I'll show you through this video how you can build it, right? In this session we are going to talk about weather info form, one, one form interface which I have created and one bot to access the information from that bot and then we will be using open weather map api to get the data of weather uh, irrespective of the country then we will be using json object package manager so that we can uh, format or uh, we can query the json which we are getting from the web api and then we'll be using json formatter website just to uh, have a look at our JSON format in a pretty prettier format, right? In a readable format. So that's the URL for JSON formatter. That's the URL for bot store to download JSON object manager, J JSON object manager package. And this is the API, web API, open weather map API, which will give us the temperature uh, of the uh, city which we will be passing in and these are the main uh, parameters of the json query uh, so whatever json data you receive you can query for temperature you need to go main dot temp feels like humidity okay we'll be talking about them in uh, in the video so let's get started to download the json object manager package you can visit to this bot store dot automation anywhere dot com and the entire url which i have uh, which i have shown here and i'll be putting this url in the description as well you can directly navigate to it uh, you need to have uh, login uh, access to this uh, particular url uh, a people login you should have and you can directly download the uh, json object manager package and then uh, you can navigate to this control room and import your uh, package from here i have already done that so i'll be not doing it again so once you do that uh, you can see here json object manager and it's really helpful to query the json data and regarding the uh, open weather api you need to create an account on this website openweathermap.org i'll provide the link in the description as well and from here you can subscribe to the current weather data and as soon as you subscribe like in free you uh, you get these many uh, calls monthly which is more than enough for practical uh, use case or demonstration or learning perspective right if you wish to go uh, build something real time and if you feel like uh, you need more calls uh, you need more calls than given than allowed you can choose the paid version accordingly right so in this we have uh, we have these many features in the free version we can get the api key from here i, am, I have already logged in and i have created my api keys it's simple you just need to create on get api key so i'm already signed in it's saying so i already have the api keys here so once you click on get api key you will uh, there will be a api key generated randomly like this which uh, you will be using to query the api so without the uh, api key you won't be able to query it so these are the two things you need to follow let me open this weather app and weather bot for you so in the weather info form we have created this form like a list of radio buttons where we are listing down four cities and one button and here it's a text area to display the information which we will be getting from the weather uh, api and this is the close button and here also we have uh, kept the close uh, button for the form so this is simple drag and drop uh, elements from the left hand side and you can design this form so accordingly you can name uh, the elements so let's moving on to the bot 
so here uh, is our bot this is the flow view let me switch it over to list view so it's a readable quite uh, easily readable in a small section so here I have commented out this code because I was trying out some other uh, buttons, some other functionality but at the moment we will be demonstrating only this much so here we are displaying the form then we have induced trigger loop trigger loop just to listen uh, for the button click event as soon as you click on or select any of the uh, city and then click on weather get weather info button right for this uh, we use trigger loop so as soon as this button click trigger event occurs right uh, as soon as that event is occurred we get the information from the radio button whatever radio button was clicked we get the city name we pass on the city name to the weather api to get the data in the json format which we store it in api response then here we initialize the json object manager right so json object manager can be downloaded from uh, bot store i'll provide the link in the description okay and then we are checking if the prompt assignment is equal to success so in the response api uh, sorry in the api response um, body in this variable we will be getting a uh, uh, response as success in case our call is successful so in case our API call is successful and we are able to extract get the data we only then only we will proceed further to get the data and query the query the JSON using JSON object manager here we are querying our JSON main dot temperature uh, so we, we need to extract the information uh, of temperature right let me show you uh, how the json looks like let me query this okay so here we are passing the parameter as mumbai so i need to log in uh, this api key is not working right now so i need to let me check again here maybe i have copy pasted wrong url let me try it out again over here yeah so this is how uh, the JSON data would look like and uh, let's uh, let's make a use of JSON formatter to view this in a pretty prettier formatted way so I'll paste it the JSON and you can see here it's quite pretty readable format so we want to extract this is for uh, we have passed on the city Mumbai so this is the information of Mumbai you can see main then temp right temp object is uh, located inside the main in this JSON so we want to extract this temperature right and this temperature is in Kelvin we would need to uh, do some calculation to convert it into Celsius okay and that I have already done I'll show you so we want this object main dot temperature main dot feels like and main dot humidity we are extracting these three information as of now if you want to extract any other information you can you can feel free to do so from here you can you need to just add JSON object manager query and accordingly you need to add that JSON identifier okay and you can do that then we are here doing the conversion whatever temperature we have got and we are converting it to uh, from Kelvin to Celsius we are converting it same for this feels like and the humidity is straightforward so we are not doing any conversion for humidity it's always in percentage and here we are assigning that values those values to the text area field of the form here which is non -edit editable feed and here we are uh, just displaying those information and then we are breaking out of the loop we are coming out of the loop and this is this trigger loop is for uh, the close button whenever the close button is clicked and we close the form and we uh, get out of the loop let me run this and show you how it works so in case you have any doubts any concerns you can feel free to comment in the uh, comment section so this is our form 
and let me select one of the city let's say Bangalore let me get weather info and as you can see the current temperature of Bangalore is 31 degrees Celsius it feels like 32 degrees Celsius and humidity is around 49 percentage let me close this form and let me run it again let's run this again for some different city um, this time we will select Delhi get weather info and you can see guys how quick it is uh, within a one or two seconds uh, we are getting the result right the current temperature is 35 it feels like 33 humidity is only six percent so that's all guys uh, about this uh, use case this is one of the uh, use case for attended automation and re for desktop right feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below in case you like this video please feel to subscribe to our channel and share this video among your friends till then have a good day thanks thanks for watching